Hello seekers, welcome to Panis Astrology, your one stop astro channel. Venus uh, is about to make its move out of the sign of Aries to the sign of Taurus. Tomorrow on 4th of May, uh, 4th of May, Venus will make its move to its own zodiac sign of Taurus. But uh, Rahu and Mercury are already placed in that sign. What will happen when Venus will make this short and quick transit in the sign of Taurus? Let's try to find that out. But before that, do not forget to hit like, subscribe and share and hit the bell icon so that you never miss another update. If you want to take my consultation, drop me an email. The email ID is in the description box below. To connect with me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter for latest and quick astro bites, the social media links are given in the description box below. Let's continue with Venus transit in the sign of Taurus. So on 4th of May, when Venus will make its move in the sign of Taurus, Venus will also be no longer under combustion. Venus gains back its power and the Taurus is very important zodiac, especially for India because India is a Taurus ascendant. If you are a Taurus ascendant, Taurus moon sign, or if you have Venus in Taurus or prominent planets in Taurus zodiac sign, it is going to be very crucial. When Venus will go in the Taurus zodiac sign, it will try to balance that house. So you just try to find out where is the Taurus uh, zodiac sign in your horoscope, Venus will try to balance that zodiac sign. Now when Venus uh, goes into the Taurus, uh, it will enter the Kritika Nakshatra because Kritika Nakshatra spans both in Aries and Taurus and it will join Mercury which is in Kritika Nakshatra and Rahu which is in Rohini Nakshatra. Now try to understand uh, that the day when Venus makes its entry in Taurus, Sun is in Bharani Nakshatra. Sun will be in the zodiac of Venus. So, when Sun is in Bharani, the soul is uh, transforming because Bharani is the gateway of this life and the other life and souls are exchanging, the energy gets exchanged when Sun is in this particular zodiac, in this particular nakshatra. So the stability of Venus becomes of great, becomes great importance because when Venus becomes stable in Taurus zodiac sign, Bharani gets a lot of stability. Also the the Rahu and Mercury, the spread of Rahu and Mercury also contains because Venus is Shukracharya. And Shukracharya has the Mahamrityunjaya Mudra. So for all of you, wherever you are in the world, Mahamrityunjaya Mantra. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukmi Vandhanan Mrityur Mukshi Mavritat. Om Namah Shivaya. The prayer to Shiva and the Mahamrityunjaya Mantra is going to be highly benefic. While Venus is in Taurus, uh, it is also going to act on Libra because uh, Taurus and Libra, although they have 6-8 formation, they both are the zodiac sign of Venus. So Venus is one of uh, the zodiac sign which has 6-8 formation apart from Aries and Scorpio. But Venus, Venusian nature is far more, far more, you can say, materialistic, far more medical in nature. So when Venus moves into Taurus zodiac sign, the relationships will come down, uh, the problems in the relationships will come down, the chaos of humanity will re reduce to a certain extent. This installs security in our mind because Venus is the owner of Taurus zodiac sign and Taurus zodiac sign is the natural second house. It installs the security, it comes out of the, of the combustion, it comes out of the effect of the sun, the harmful malefic effect of the sun gets reduced. And because of this reduction of heat, Venus takes a sigh of relief. This is good for monetary transactions, luxury brands, buying something new. This is good for stability of mind. This is also a very positive time to find out the reason of your happiness. The reason of our happiness should be the nature. And when Venus is with Mercury, Mercury is nature, the greenery. And Rahu, Rahu is something where we can connect or we can do something about nature while sitting in the, in the protection of our home. On the other hand, Venus also shows that the disease part of life will come to a position where recovery is going to be positive, hopefully. 
this is usually this this conclusion is usually made because venus is eighth from libra now libra in a natural case will be a markesh and when venus goes into the taurus zodiac sign it becomes eighth from markesh so it increases the longevity it increases the positivity you can also chant venus beej mantra om dram dream dram sah shukray namaha for at least at least 7000 times in this small period to get the benefit of venus this is a good time for a good career change for check of health to do yoga this is a time when you can look upon yourself do self development and this is the most one of the most positive time when you can be recreational about yourself and try to remove the unnecessary scrub out the unnecessary energies from your body and and recover and come out bright now venus is definitely the lord of security the lord of finances being in taurus it it installs that sense of relief and takes away the fear so something has to happen that takes away the fear yes rahu is there to create the nonsense but then we must be very careful about what we are what we are taking from our senses indriya because whatever we take from the senses will define the role of venus in our life considering this quick position of venus in taurus this seems to be very positive this is very positive and i hope this brings a lot of positivity in your life with this i end this video let's meet in the next video till then check out my other videos in this channel more videos coming soon stay positive and stay safe this is your host puneet we'll meet in the next video till then namaste Thank you.